Hey y'all, we're now watching Civil War, a movie that was released this year. A movie by Alex Garland, who's made Ex Machina, Ex Annihilation, Machina. and some other ones. We've seen Ex Machina, but not the other ones. And there's a lot of discussion around this movie. Which we've avoided. Yeah, so it's kind <laughs> of, you know, interested us a bit. Like, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this movie uh, plays out. Plays out, I guess. A movie about a following people in the Civil War. I'd imagine it doesn't actually follow the, like, all the politics. Or whatever that's happening. Since it's from Alex Garland, it probably is going to show the... Hey, Civil War isn't fun. What do you know? What a shock. Mm. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Oh, it's, uh... I forgot his name again. Nick Offerman? Thank you. Yeah. I, I was going to call him Ron Swanson again. We are not... Some are calling it already. He's, they're, like, inter-posting, like, actual footage. We are closer mm. than we have ever... Okay, that's a really, that's, that's a creepy, after. creepy shot. Yeah. Today, I can announce the Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great loss. A very great Wow, this guy must suck if Texas Texas and California team Kristen Dunst, right? Yeah, Kirsten Dunst. Doric victory. As we eliminate the final pockets of resistance. And God bless America. That's a really long lens to shoot <laughs> and that close. Maybe they're looking for food since they got buckets. Ah, water. There's other reporters too. Oh. The press is all determined to get their shot. It's funny, the reporters are all very disconnected yeah, they are. from it. I gotta get the shot! Oh. So much. <laughs> wow. Suicide bomber. Well, must have been with an American flag. With the... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Courtesy, professionalism, and respect. Immediately has to get the aftermath shot, no matter how grisly it is. Gotta get that shot! I wonder if it's like <laughs> critiquing uh, how reporters are... Yeah. Oh. I feel like it is. But it's okay, she's using a Sony camera. <laughs> <laughs> she must be a famous reporter. Yeah. Mm. It's gotta be a critique of that, right? How uh, reporters are disconnected from what's going on. They gotta get the shot. Bird you're getting. Like everyone in the mm. room hasn't already heard this bullshit. July 4th, Sam. It was in Dune, the I remember. It was this mm. You think there's a rush to get executed on the South Lawn? So you gotta go west, maybe as far as Pittsburgh, then circle in from West Virginia. You already had that. I'm gonna finish the upload upstairs and pass out. Where's she uploading it to? Do they have, like, journalists? Offices? The ride on the in the west? Bed. You two figure it out. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Lee. <laughs> Make me the bad guy. I'm, I'm a photographer, and I want to be a war photographer, actually. Um, by the way, you have the you didn't same... You didn't seem too enthused about that, mm -hmm. hearing that. Miller, and you've got the same name, too. <laughs> thank you. I'm in good company. <laughs> What's your... But if I ever see you again, you better be wearing Kevlar. And not fluorescent. How about fluorescent club bar? <laughs> <laughs> fluorescent bulletproof vest, man. It was very dreamy, like disconnected from the war. Here. Hmm. She looks a bit like Brie Larson, like a very young Brie Larson. Hmm. It's kind of a horror on its own, you know, like you're disconnected from it. Yeah. I wonder if reporters develop PTSD. Yeah, I was going like, to ask. Like the reporters in Ukraine saying, you know, people dying day after day. Like hearing so, oh, he's gone. That's my, you know. Hmm. Stuff like that. Oh, wow. And there's a tank. And life goes on despite the war. Hmm. Whatever happens, she goes no further than Charlottesville. Foreshadowing, she dies at Fort Shardsville. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
so they're gonna give us like a time road trip <laughs> a road trip through the war tour in America yeah but we might still shoot them even if it says press on it you could be disguised as you know soldiers with press mm. oh, might be a war of the worlds actually oh, that yeah. massive highway exodus all the refugees I guess trying to leave somewhere got blown up wow look at that set Mr. President, do you regret any actions implemented during your third term in office? Third term? He had three terms? In was wise the Constitution. To the FBI. There's a gas station up ahead. It doesn't have actual gas left? Looks open. What do you think? Any chance to refuel we should take. Okay. <clears throat> but what money do they offer? Like, I'm curious. How does this work with secessionists? 300 Canadian. Okay. Huh. Wow. Even though he's got a gun, he's willing to trade with them still. So. Man, <laughs> so nervous. No. Yeah. For them. Nobody's making any move though. How did he get gas? Uh. I told her. I don't mind if she looks. Who are they? Looters. She's trying to feel disconnected. Oh, they're still. Tell you what. Strap him to the front. We'll let him go after a couple days. Jeez. <laughs> Great makeup. Would you stand with them? Stand with them? Yeah. You stand over there? Yeah. Where are you on? I disconnect and distract them uh, from uh, deciding. Between the two. I think this is how she copes with the whole situation. Yeah. Uses her camera. So it's more, it's more psychological, behind. Yeah. too. I wish she doesn't have to think photo. about it. Like, why didn't I just tell him not to shoot They're them? They're probably gonna kill them anyway. How do you know? He oh, they already know. killed them after? That's besides mm. the point. You need to understand. Oh, she's like kind of jaded being a reporter mm -hmm. so long, she doesn't care. Free thinking Americans. Actually, I do like most of the cities aren't destroyed. It's just like some wreck stuff here and there. Mm. Everything's abandoned. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, nice. Shot. <laughs> yeah, guy's doing a great job right now stopping the violence here. <laughs> so he did give him. Uh, tank of gas. So who funds them? JC Penny. Boy destroyed. But the logo's perfect. <laughs> Everybody's got Fujifilm cameras? I'm so sad. <laughs> They're my dad's cameras, actually. Mm. Don't worry, he's not dead. Sitting on his farm in Missouri, pretending like none of this is happening. I wonder if it's like an observation about people. You yeah, pretend it's not people, happening. Yeah. Yeah, some people are like that. Some people just can't afford to get to care though. Mm. Would you photograph that moment if I got shot? What do you think? That frame. The yeah. Car outside. Am I allowed to say I remember you at her age? And I wasn't so different. You weren't so different. You think you're being hard <laughs> on her, and I. It's the it's the, the team of four again. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. I can't answer to that. We're not going anywhere near that in the dark. But sun up. They're still at it. We'll take a look. Jeez. Wow. Also, Shows the mind. Yeah, there. I'm surprised you didn't mention this after. Cool. Who is he? So he's from Narcos, isn't he? Is that him? Mm-hmm. He looked familiar, but I just couldn't quite place it. That's him? We can look it up again, but I'm pretty sure it was him. Do you remember his name from our Narcos? Does it sound like him? I mean, you've seen the show. A bit. It's been a couple of years since you've seen it, right? Yeah. Action tomorrow. You going he's so there? excited. Hmm. Yeah. I think he might... I wonder if he's a little drunk, too. Don't expect to sleep. That way, if you do, it's a... It's a nice surprise. Hmm. But seriously, if you do get freaked out or something, just wake me up. It's not nice being scared alone. 
I feel like he's gone through a lot of times too. Yeah. So at this point, he's kind of like, he knows. Hmm. I don't think it's him though. It was subtly different than the. Where's Lee gonna sleep? No idea. Maybe he's on the couch outside. I believe the other with the recorders be that close. Yeah, she would look like a soldier actually from a distance. The helmet. Mm -hmm. She got shot when it surprised me. Uh. He's keeping her within arm's length. Yeah. Uh. Hang in, stay. Maybe it made her think about her own self, right? Taking pictures and then she sees her younger. Yeah, she's like a reflection yeah. of her when she was younger. That was a great shot, actually. Aww. Sadly. I feel like wearing a bright red shirt would be a very bad idea in an urban combat area. That's a good point. I'm no expert. That's a good point. But I feel like wearing a bright red shirt like that guy would be a bad idea. True. I'm letting the reporters tag along. How do you know if they're not like, like fake reporters? I guess since they've come so far with them. Man, they're letting them come up close and personal. Yeah. I guess the shitty part about Civil War is that no one wins. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. Wow. Man, the music, the contrast. Yeah. I guess these are the uh, the secessionists that have the guns. Mm. The Western forces, or the Florida states. I don't quite understand the alliances. There's some great shots in this movie. Yeah, there's some really good shots in this movie actually. As we're talking about a movie where they're literally taking shots. With yeah, with the framing, the composition. I was gonna get executed. Jesus. Holy fucking shit! What a fucking rush! Yeah, see, they get a rush from it too. Mm. West Virginia. Oh, like a giant stadium. That's like a UN organization, which is very ironic. <laughs> wow, look at that. They've graffitied the whole stadium. Wow. <laughs> Don't forget to eat. Yeah, I'm starving. My twist. Her SD card breaks. All the pictures she takes. <laughs> That's a real oh, worry as a photographer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have cameras with backup slots. Hmm. Body temperature. Smart. Oh, she develops them as film pictures? Wow. Legendary photo of the Antifa massacre. That would be my Wikipedia page. But what's missing from it? Antifa massacre. Wow, there's been so much going on. Hmm. Hey, these are dry. Should we check them out? <sighs> sure. Nice. I was already taking pictures of film. I don't want you to see these. They're film not cameras. even focused. Okay. Like, <laughs> Did I even focus? <laughs> That's my complaint. Yeah, that's the shot. That's that the even shot. that, even we thought that one looked good out of the others. Yeah. Bonding as a group. You think one of them's gonna die? Probably. I feel like the old guy might go. <laughs> Poor guy. Because they mentioned that several times. Too slow to mm. go. You know, I feel like it's gonna be a plot point. All these empty shots of the U.S. are really creepy. And these yeah. are. Like, there's not even that much stuff that's destroyed, it's just creepy. Seeing everything empty. Man, I wonder what you would do as a if you were a refugee in this situation. Do you go towards DC? Oh, that's wow. a great shot. These are some good shots! <laughs> go Steelers! Oh. 
But they're hanging there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Is that a Steeler joke? I wonder, yeah. Well, they still have water in some places. It looks like blood covering the leaves. Mmm. Well, this place seems more... Seems calmer, vibrant. nothing happening. Yeah. At least the people pretending nothing's happening. Did we just drive through a time <laughs> portal? <laughs> Where everything's normal. Twilight zone. Welcome. Feel free to look around. <laughs> Doesn't give a shit. <laughs> How did you get paid? Is there an economy still going? I mean, if there is, they're accepting Canadian dollars. Uh, true. Yeah. Pretty huge civil war going on all across America. Oh, sure. But we just try to stay out. Yeah, these are the... <laughs> His face. Yeah. Well, let me know if you want to try anything on. In a dress store, sure. Is it making fun of people who are being like, oh, we're, we're not taking sides. Mm -hmm. We sit on the fence. Turn around. I want to take your photo. No. Come on. Yes. These shots of yeah. both of them. like Definitely deliberate. Yeah. You're going to take the photo? Tell me not to rush. <laughs> yeah, but there's a sweet spot and you're missing it. Don't want to miss your sweet spot. <laughs> well, no, that. I'm not gonna take a picture. Right. You know what, though? I'm running a little. <laughs> wow. You mean? I'm out. <laughs> this place is like everything I'd forgotten. Funny. I was thinking it felt like everything I remembered. <laughs> wow. Look at the tops of the buildings. Be subtle. Uh oh. Oh no. So there are still people with guns guarding. So there's some sort of town militia probably guarding. Yeah, it must be. The ones that get taken, Gaddafi, Mussolini, Ceausescu, they're always lesser men than you think. At the end, you let you down, Joe. Well. Watch out for flying golf balls. Turn off. No shapes, no movement, nothing. Yeah, but... No. Okay, I'm gonna drive forward a little. I would go back. <laughs> yeah, I would go back. It's in the middle of the road for a reason, guys. Should we keep going? <gasps> Shit! Oh, he... Ooh! Should get a shot of oh, people who are shooting us? Yeah. Oh. Don't try driving on. This guy's a good shot. They're very disguised. I couldn't even see them. Yeah. Well, they're not shooting him at least. They're just like, hey, could you please go on? <laughs> you might die. We're stuck. <laughs> what do you think they are? No idea. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a whole point about the movie. Repress. Cool. Now I understand why it's written on the side of your vehicle. <laughs> hey guys, shut the fuck up. Well, he's got like all green hair. Interesting shots. Yeah. Wonder if it's like There's a lot of interesting shots going on here. I got good news. War fucking sucks. Yeah. Uh oh. Slow down a little, Lee. Let him pass. Retro bad. You don't know what's gonna happen, right? It's reporters. Let's 
stop. Why? Wants to be adventurous. Uh, but her equipment. Where'd your guy go, Tony? He's just fucking around. That's all. I don't want him fucking around. <laughs> Jesus. It's not, like, it's not like they can call each other. They don't yeah. have signals. That was dumb of her to go with that random guy. Is their car like empty up ahead? The driver dead? Yeah, I'm wondering. The house just comes into frame. Yeah. They're doing a good job of hiding stuff. Yeah. Like when the camera's moving, suddenly like this is revealed. And now they're out of frame. Oh. Oh boy. Uh... A quiet sound. Like there's no and there's no sound as they're killing no people. Yeah. Scaring people. Goodness. They're not just giving them a scare. They killed all the people in that fucking truck. They could have killed the whole town, but they'll stop now. Who knows where those bodies <laughs> are from? Or the bodies in uniform. No, they're not. So we don't know who's who. No, Oh wait, I know him. Yeah, it's Jesse Plemons. Wyatt, yeah, that's it. And they always get him for roles like this, I guess. Yeah. Hey. Plus, he and Kirsten Dunst hey, are a couple in real life. I guess there's, there's some kind of misunderstanding. Oh my here. god. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just casually talking about this. It's a real feel-good story. Uh huh. And I, I guess we all need that, right? I don't even know who is he with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he says, is he burying all these bodies? And the blood on his this hands. This guy's your colleague? This guy here? Yes, sir. He's my... <gasps> that guy? Just, what? Just please? Just please? Let's, please? Sir? Please? Sir. Yes. Just speak. Let me... I know what Reuters is. Sir, okay. I'm just saying... Just saying, just what? Well, you're American. Man, he's so good in this role. What kind of American are you? Oh man, what a question. <laughs> what about you? Where are you from? Missouri. The show me state, right? Yes. And what about you? Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado. Colorado, Missouri. Can you open your mouth and tell me where you're from? Just make sure it's clear fucking English, okay? Jeez. I'm from, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, China. <laughs> China. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Stop it! Who you <laughs> think <laughs> you are? <laughs> you <laughs> fuck yes. Fuck that guy so hard. Can't run, but he can drive. Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. Man, I don't know if we'd survive that guy. <laughs> you know, he'd be like. But you don't look American. There's some fucking bullshit. Clear English. Go, 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 go. Run. Well, that was a fucked up uh, scene. Yeah, that was. It felt very. It felt <sighs> horrific as hell. Yeah, it did. And they just came from the car that they're at. It's like Florida's from Central America. Uh, you know, humans, we always put each other in groups. Yeah. Really fucked up. Oh. You gotta stop. I can't drive. We can't stop. We gotta fucking drive. Oh. I can't. <gasps> He's been hit. Let's go, see Okay. Shit, I thought he would be the one that dies first. I feel like I'm getting. Can he saved them. Yeah, this feels like a horror movie, but it's like in a but different like a way. like a realistic horror. Yeah. I would never expect a demon possession or aliens. Well, not yet aliens, but this kind of thing could happen. Yeah, you know, there's always people talking about it, like joking about it. Oh, I'm ready for the next civil war. I'm like, no, you're fucking not. No, you, no. Yeah. 
always have to be on your toes. Like nice even, shot, though. Yeah, this is beautiful. Like, even the town that looks safe has people guarding it. Yeah, they have to guard it. How's it there? Right there. At this army camp. shot from the camera. Yeah, it's on purpose. Yeah. Two states, so these are the Western forces. Yeah, of course, before it shows. They're doing a fucking air show. <laughs> the press. Remember she asked her earlier? That was foreshadowing. Would you take a picture of me if I you shot? Yeah, I'm wondering yeah. if one of them will... The Western forces are moving into D.C. Earlier today, the government military basically surrendered. Oh, so the war's over? We are too late. We missed the story. And Sammy didn't even die for anything good. All to get a story that didn't matter. Jesus. All story that was too late, sorry. Not that didn't matter. Where's Joel? Processing. Hardly knew Sammy compared to you, but... Yeah, you know, the man you were with. That's who he was. It may sound fucked up that it could have ended for him. And a lot of them were worse. They didn't want to quit. He died saving them. Hmm. I've never been scared like that before. And I've never felt more alive. I wonder what if war reporters in like uh, Gaza or Ukraine would feel like this too, mm. like similar to this. Like, yeah, True. we totally agree. We get a drilling rush from doing this, from filming war, from the possibility of dying. It's interesting the political side of the movie. There's not much, right? They don't talk about the politics of each side. Yeah. Of course, people. I've seen arguments that no, movies don't leave politics. They need to stay non-political. But by actively trying to stay non-political, you're ironically making a political statement. <laughs> so, yeah. You're basically like those people on the farm, I suppose. Well, not really so much as you're trying to pretend there's there's nothing that's worth saying. Wow, well, they're really gonna go to DC with all these soldiers. Wow, that's a lot of helicopters. Western forces must have seized all the depots. Oh, that's chromatic uh, abbreviation there. Mm -hmm. Appreciation, or whatever you call it. <laughs> so what happens after the war? Is the U.S. going to be renamed the U.S. again? <laughs> Washington, D.C. Oh, there's still fighting going on, even if they surrendered. Hey, can you imagine asking the U.S. Army, Hey, can we borrow a bunch of your vehicles for a movie about they're going to be used by the secessionists to invade Washington, D.C.? Like, and the U.S. military is like, yeah, sure, you can use it for the filming. <laughs> a jab one? Okay. You need to be wearing helmets. Oh, they're flying really low for that. <laughs> That is so dangerous. Jesus. Nice shot, though. That's hilariously low. I'm pretty sure they could do that from above. <laughs> Jesus. And it just looks like Americans killing Americans. There's no, like... Yeah. Differentiation besides them wearing the yeah, exactly. American patches that are slightly different with the stars. Oh wow, it's all oh. walled up. They've walled up the entire White House. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Hey, yeah, reporters, come join us. Oh, this is nuts. This whole sequence it must have been insane in theaters. Oh. Okay. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Bring up the tank. <laughs> There's 
two of them. Oh, the Abrams. Oh, there's those two. Oh, there they are. Are they gonna get killed? Why are they showing those two? Problem solved. Oh, well, now she's just full on charging in, and Lee is. Yeah. Miraculously, he has to grab her. Push him back! Push him back! Get back! Get back! Stay clear! Yeah, you can't stand in front of it. The pressure wave when he, when the tank fires. I would love to take pictures of Warzone. In complete safety, though. <laughs> Jeez. Oh so fucking close. White House. Kill! <laughs> no capture! Whoever gets a fucking gun to his head first! Jesus. Hey, Lee! I mean, that situation, he'd shoot himself, right? Don't beat me to the money shot, huh? President's on the move! <laughs> Fuck yeah, he's busting out. No way they're gonna drive out. That's hilarious! The Secret Service versus the military? Oh my god. Is he even in there? I doubt it. There's no way he's in there. Right towards the lead, too. That'd be too convenient. Nice. That was well shot, actually. I mean... Man, the Secret Service are really loyal. <laughs> well, I said that's not the president, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like... Yeah, yeah, see, even she thinks that. Her brain kicked back and the reporter brain. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. There's gotta be some random senator or something. Or maybe a general. They're gonna find him and say his final words. Oh, uh, yeah. And won't they have, like, Secret Service or other yeah. soldiers? He sent his wife out to get killed. Oh. <laughs> if that's his, maybe that's his wife. We don't know. Yeah. We can only, uh, infer. They saw the reporters going in, he noticed. Mm. Like, that soldier over there. He's like, wait a second. They know something. <laughs> Hold your fire, guys. You the WF? Take a wild guess. <laughs> we need a guarantee of safe passage for the president. And we need extraction to a neutral territory. We request Greenland or Alaska. Alaska, Alaska is neutral? <laughs> Bring them out here. Ma'am, the president is willing to- Gunner, point, check, moving! Oh, there's no music at all. Yeah. It's just nothing but atmosphere and gunshots. Just go. Ow, it's insane. Crash it! Yeah, you know, the way they say crash it or flood it, I wonder if that's how actual soldiers talk. Really interesting compared to different movies. movies. Mm. Man, they're really close. They have to spend a lot of mental energy thinking about the reporters, too. Yeah. I wonder if they hate that. Jesus. Yeah. It's so tense, like the cuts between the two. Stay down! Ready! Got the lack of music. Break out, break out, break out! It's actually insanely so intense. intense. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Take in, take in. It's so much. She keeps walking like this. I keep expecting to get shot. Yeah, same. No, not the slow motion. No. Oh. And she shot the moment where she was shot. I figured it would be Lee. Yeah, kind of a mm. death push towards the end. Yeah. Especially since Sammy died. Yeah. The movie kept telling us it would be Jesse, but I... Yeah, ironically. Be, uh... I was so numb. I need a quote. <laughs> don't, let, don't let him kill me. Yeah, that'll do.
So Lee didn't get a chance to see this part. Yeah. Uh, but they almost won anyway. That's what we knew. Huh. Did you get the shot? To be known as the soldiers who killed the president, that'd be uh I guess that's why they don't mind uh Yeah, press. they don't mind the quote, yeah. Wow, that's it? Wow. Yeah, well that's there might be more. That is him. Cool. <laughs> okay. These are all the shots that's been uh in the movie? What's the word when when they have to wait for the photo to process? Develop. Develop. Yeah, wait for so this develop. is yeah. They took a photo with the body. Yeah. <clears throat> Nick Hofferman. <laughs> <laughs> and what's going on over there? Must be one of the Secret Service guys. He's still died. alive. Oh, died. He's leaning against the chair. I see. So he sent his wife to die. I guess I don't know. What happened towards the end there? Yeah, we'll never know. Like, yeah, there's like I no mean, information. Yeah, we can only come up with theories like maybe that was his wife that he sent out there to uh... Distract? That'd be kind of cowardly. Yeah, he told her like, you get away if you hop in this car, honey. Don't They know I'm in here. Yeah, they won't kill you. They won't kill you. Escapes in a presidential fucking convoy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a pretty horrifying scenario to uh... Process? Yeah. Yeah. To see the uh, see reporters in a war go through all that. There's no after credits where Nick Fury shows up. I like to recruit you to take photos of our Avengers. Yeah, well that was a interesting movie. That was an interesting movie. It seems like it was trying to be not give out as in, much information as it could. Like we don't know what happened, but I did get the impression that the president was kind of being an asshole about something. Like, probably a fascist about something. I mean, he has a third term. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's a kind of like, what the hell? That that immediately had me all, huh? He disbanded the FBI. He was doing some shady shit, probably. Yes, exactly. Hmm. I mean, it was shady enough to the... That Texas and California teamed up <laughs> to fight them. And that's, like... That's crazy. <laughs> to the point where they call them the Western Forces. And Texas and California pretty much have most... Of, like, they have a giant chunk of the U.S. GDP, so they could just you know, fight a war by themselves easily. Mm, I guess that's why it was written yeah. that way. Yeah, and then there's Florida, who have their own secession, this thing going on. And then they mention neutral territory, Greenland or Alaska. I'm like, so Alaska's also declared independence? <laughs> What's going on? And Greenland? Greenland's a colony of Denmark, technically. <laughs> why? Did, did Greenland get annexed in this universe? There's like, there's not much like so information. He doesn't want to go to Hawaii or Guam in that case. Yeah, yeah. There's not much information said. We just can only infer bits of it. Yes. Like uh, Jesse Plemons' character kills that guy for being from a foreigner. He's yeah, now a real foreigner. American. Your, what the fuck that English means? Your English isn't clear enough. Aye, aye, Whatever aye. that means. He was gonna kill them, actually. I feel like. Yeah, he was. Right after that. I mean, everyone buried there was well, like like Sammy said, they're town residents. Yeah, they're town residents. Would. Sorry, I wanted to look at the. That's where I've seen him. Okay, he's in Narcos. Yeah. He looks so familiar. Okay. Yeah, he was. He was. I mean, I've never seen Narcos, but I I knew that you have. Yeah. When I saw the name, I was like, "Wait a second, that that's got to be him." But I wanted to make sure. I mean, he's changed a lot since. He's gotten much thinner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the show, but yeah, because Pablo Escobar is much fatter or whatever. Yeah. Bigger dude than he is. But uh, yeah, what a. It's a pretty straightforward story where you get hints of what's going on. In America, through the characters. Yeah. Yeah. And then they use scenes from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, they used real life footage. You could see uh, there was protests. The riots mentioned January sixth. The insurrection mentioned shown. Mm -hmm. uh, there was like police fighting, probably student protesters from something. We don't know. There's a lot of stuff put in there, and it's quite nuts. Mm -hmm. And then they mentioned little bits in this film, kind of like him disbanding the FBI. So there was some sort of Antifa massacre. Yeah. So I'm kind of confused what that meant. Like, did that mean the anti-fascists were massacred, or did they massacre some or somebody? <laughs> like, there's. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite. I guess the movie is kind of a warning in a way, where civil war is not nice. It is not pretty, despite what people who are online too much think. Yeah, uh, it's not safe anywhere. Yeah, who are like, oh, you know, it's, we can deal with everything. No, more likely you're probably going to die from thirst or food or, you know, whatever. Or getting, like, hanged in the, uh... 
gas for being station, a looter. For looting. Yeah. Assuming there were looters, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, that's But I true. feel like they he was telling the truth there. <laughs> when he said they, were, they had history. Maybe yeah, he yeah. thought, hmm, this is a good excuse to, uh... Yeah, we don't know. We don't know anything. It's all from their perspective, the main characters, so... They also showed how reporters are quite desensitized to... Yeah. War. They have their own form of, like, trauma. Dealing with this by... Coping with it. Coping with it. And it's quite cool to see a movie about that, actually. It is. We don't... Because reporters are often, like, viled or whatever by everyone. Mm. But there are people out there who do take photographs, who don't write articles. They're just there to take photographs and record. And mm. those type of people go through hell. I saw this one famous video where it was this uh, reporter. He was with some Ukraine, a Ukrainian unit. Mm-hmm. They were ups- absolutely surrounded by Russians. And they were, like, every day shelling, shelling, shelling like fighting he saw people that he knew disappeared and then he they managed to somehow escape the whole shelling like the whole unit managed to escape with the um. reporter and then we see stuff like uh reporters have been killed you know all over the world right yeah, gaza ukraine uh, iraq wherever mm. so there's a huge risk and we the movie lays out here we saw a bunch of reporters die right yeah. we saw tony and his friend and then sammy and then and then yeah, lee herself true. and lee herself Man, that whole Civil War section of them invading Washington, D.C. was so wild. It just seemed... That was yeah. such a fucking long battle scene, actually. Yeah. That must have been quite loud in theaters, I'd imagine, mm-hmm. with all the gunshots. Yeah, that's true. It also kind of reminds me of, uh, of the way people also take pictures, you know, for social media. But I feel like in this case, there's no social media. It might be... The Wi-Fi. It might be taking a... Hint from like there. a jab at that a bit like gotta get the shot no matter what yeah. you have to get the shot even nope had a, a little joke about that the cinematographer oh, yeah, yeah. had to get right, the shot at right. the end yeah. Yeah. but yeah spoilers the for that and uh reporters have to get that shot you know like uh, journalists they have, to, yeah. they have to photojournalists they gotta get that shot and then they get probably they're recording history yeah it's quite cool Yes. Of course, now with AI and shit going on, disinformation everywhere. I don't know what history there's going to be left in 10, 15 more years of this shit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah. The photography aspect of this was quite cool. Yes. Especially seeing them talk about developing film film shots or mm-hmm. her deleting photos. I'm a, uh, I like photographing too. I've got a mirrorless, a Fujifilm mirrorless, which I sadly didn't see in that movie. They only showed Sony and uh, Nikon, so. It kind of... Actually, I noticed that, like, after Sammy dies, <coughs> mm-hmm. that's when Jesse takes a step forward. Yeah, and, and Lee becomes kind of more takes daring. A step and Lee, yeah, she even deleted a photo yeah. of Sammy. And then she, she, she saved, broke down. She, yeah, Jesse. And she broke down at the end. Like, she yeah. was, like, crying against the wall, kind of going. Yeah, whilst, while Jesse was charging forward to get her shot. That whole sequence was wonderful, actually. The whole action sequence. Yeah, it was. And I'm surprised at how these soldiers are willing to tolerate these reporters. They're like, mm. they have to actively keep an eye out for them and safety yes. a lot. And, but the soldiers put up with it, I guess, because those guys storming the White House were like, we're about to be part of history, you know, that yeah. must be quite cool in some way. That's we're true. about to kill the president and we're going to get pictures on camera, you know, they'll be the first unit there. That's true. So, mm. and Sammy did mention at the end where once they win, they're probably going to all bicker with each other. Back to normal. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you're a secessionist state, so you came in to take over D.C. So what? Do you change the Constitution? Do you as- assemble a new Constitution? Do you use the old one? Or, like, what? What do you do? Like, there's going to be so many questions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The whole scene with, uh... Jesse Plemons is a character. Yeah, yeah, that whole scene is memorable. That uh, was sad so... Boy. Yeah, that, that was, was really traumatizing. Up it was so hard to watch. Ugh. The second he said, speak clear English, I knew he was going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was a fucked up scene. He definitely would have shot Joe, I think, if Sammy hadn't charged Yeah, him I feel like Joe would have been next. Because he mentioned Central died. American. Yeah. Yeah. And literally had a mass grave next to him. He probably wasn't a nice person. <laughs> yeah. Overall, that was a very interesting movie. The sniper sequence was also quite interesting. You know, it's like a, a dude oh, with yeah. green and pink hair, like, sniping a... Uh... Even his nails were painted. Yeah, it was like... <laughs> Very, it like flips all the tropes on itself. Yeah. You wouldn't uh, assume that, but yeah, there's a lot of people out there who probably paint themselves or are just as good gunshot mm. at, at uh, shooting people. Yeah, so. true. I'm surprised the press didn't like have some decide to 
add another <clears throat> layer of something over their car or inside their car in case gunshots came through. But as they mentioned, their car doesn't go very fast. Yeah. And if they added more weight for bulletproof uh, whatever, it would just make it worse. That's true. Yeah. So the only way for reporters to really safely go to war zones is to accompany army units that are going mm. there. Yeah. Even on the so, Russian side of the war in Ukraine, mm. they would have reporters, the Russians like invite reporters along to go mm. see from their side of the view. Oh, okay. Then they go through Ukraine or whatever. And then they go travel through the Ukraine forces. So stuff like that. I see. Yeah. For Gaza, though, it's a little more uh, less because there's no really open line, mm. open front lines. So it's different there. Mm. I don't know how that works there. I think great performance from everyone. Yes. Especially uh, Kristen uh, Dunst, right? She was really good Kirsten in this. Kristen Dunst, yeah. Yeah, she seemed kind of like jaded, cynical, kind of like dead inside, but she kind of had a new life doing that. Yes. Having everyone, and then she lost it all. Hmm. Then she decided to save Jesse. Yeah. Now it's Jesse's turn. Yep. She stepped forward and immediately took pictures. Yeah, Joe was like, get in there, take pictures. Hmm. Fun movie to watch, though. Very interesting. Something to think about. Oh, it's fun, but it's definitely a movie to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I guess that's... We covered our discussion for this one. Yeah. The soundtrack in this was used very sparingly. It wasn't yes. a lot... Of, the only soundtracks were songs. Hmm. And maybe one, one or two in orchestra. But other than that, it was kind of... A very quiet movie. Hmm. Relied heavily on atmosphere. And the horrific scenes of empty America... Piles of bodies or just destruction going on. It was quite sad. Yeah, they used that very effectively. And the cinematography, and this was wonderful, but yes. they probably had advice from actual ph- photographers <laughs> yes. for that one. So, <laughs> yep. Anyways, thanks for watching our reaction to this. The full reaction will be on our Patreon. And yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. If you have any movies you want us to watch, please suggest them down in the comments below or on our Patreon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and have a good day.